Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so let's utilize our section tags and our section tags really kind of stand for just like our container, you know, the, the main content of the, like the content area. And it's really just kind of like our wrapper and inside our section, we're gonna go ahead and add a new HTML5 tag called article. And don't be confused, like when you think article, you think like, you know, a newspaper article or something, but that's not the case. Just keep in mind that this section tag is really our wrapper, so we could have like our padding and you know our margins and stuff like that. Um, our CSS trace to our section, and then inside of our article, this is where we'll have our content, our H1 tags, our pictures, and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an H group, which is another new HTML tag. Let's close it out really quick, and this is where our h1 through h6 tags going if you're not familiar with h1 through h6 let's go ahead and type a couple like this is our h1 tag let's close that out do this is our h2 tag we'll close that out and it goes all the way up to h6 but i'll just do the first three one being the biggest six being the smallest our H3 tag. Let's save that. Let's open this up. Where's my... There it is. Uh-oh. Something's up with our CSS. So let's go to our style.css page. What's going on? Okay, here it is. And we probably have, okay, so with our reset file, we set H1 through H6 all to 100%. Well, we need to override that. So let's go down here. Let's do H1. And we'll do uh, um, font size, maybe 36 pixels. I'm going to keep this all in one line. That's all we're doing. I'll do H2. Nope, sorry about that. Font size 24 pixels. Let's close that out. And for H3, we'll just say something like 20 pixels. Let's save that. Now let's reload it. Okay, perfect. So that's 36, that's 24, and that is 20. But you see how it's kind of pushed up against the left hand side and it just looks really ugly. Let's go and create some CSS for our section. And in this case, we are pretty much referring it to as our wrapper for our article. So we'll set it to ID. We'll just call it content. And now we need to go to our CSS page. Where is our CSS page? It's right here. And we'll do pound sign content and let's give it do padding left 25 pixels. We'll save that just like that. Let's reload this. Looks a lot better. That's 25 pixels of padding from the uh, uh, background image. But what I want to do right here, because remember we want to have this area be our content and this area over here be our sidebar. Well, we need to go ahead and create some CSS3 that um, that that lets our, our section know that if we have content that goes all the way to about here to cut it off. So we need to give it a width. So let's go to our CSS page. And inside of our content, I'll go ahead and do width. And since we're using HTML5, I'm just gonna set it to 50%, see how that looks. Save it. Reload it. Well, there's not really a way to tell. So what we need to do is we need to grab some Lauren Ipsum, and I'll show you guys how to do that uh, in the next video. And that's really every developer's kind of um, dummy. You guys will kind of see it. We're just gonna throw in some font just to 
see what it looks like. And uh, it's a really cool trick. Lauren Ipsum's a great way to reference what your website's going to look like. So make sure you guys have this code right now. And you have this correct code right here. And in the next video, we'll talk about Lauren Ipsum. All right, guys, good luck.